Hello viewers and welcome to the lesson 3 Dimensional Geometry KCC Mathematics 2020 Paper 2 Question number 5 The question reads The figure below shows a cuboid labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H Point O is the midpoint of B, D A, B is equals to 15 centimeters B, C is equals to 8 centimeters C, F is equals to 5 centimeters So the diagram is here You can see all the points uh, the question below it is calculate the angle between lines OE and OF. The angle between OE and OF. So I will draw those uh, lines. So I'll draw OF. So that is OF and OE in order to see the required angle. And now those are the lines. So the angle required is this angle that is between. You can call that angle theta. The angle between those two lines. Having done that, there is something we need to get. We don't have the length OF and the length OE. So we need to calculate. We we'll start with OF. How do you get OF? Uh, to get OF, we will be required to get the length of this line that is here, AE, uh, AC, this is line AC. And then when you get AC, well, it will be possible now to get uh, OC, be able to get OC. So now having done that, uh, let me, uh, since this one is a cuboid, of uh, the base, uh, all these angles are 90 degrees. These are corners here. These angles are 90. This one is 90. This one is 90 as well. And this one is 90. Now using triangle ABC, using triangle ABC, we can get AC. So AC will be given by, uh, using Pythagoras theorem, uh, this will be 15 squared plus 8 squared. And this one will give um, 15 squared is 225 plus 64. This will give the square root of 289. And when you get the square root, you get 17. So AC is 17. O is the midpoint of that line. Therefore, OC will be half of that. And this will give 8.5. Centimeters. So this one is uh, 8.5 and this one is 8.5. Now look at this triangle now. OFC. OFC will make it possible to get OF. So considering that triangle, OCF we will be able to get OF. So OF now will be given by OF. Um, that is a hypotenuse, Pythagoras theorem. We shall use um, 5 squared. Plus, since that is the hypotenuse, 8.5 squared. Uh, 5 squared plus 8.5 squared, that will give uh, 99.25. And when you get the square root of this, square root of 99.25, she will give 9.862 centimeters so this one is 9.862 now we have obtained OF now let us get OE now to get OE you notice that uh, we are required to get um, consider this triangle OED OED already we have DE DE is 5 and um, DB DB is what you need to get and then when you get half of that and you notice that db will be obtained the same way we obtained ac so db consider triangle dab dab uh, you notice that db is the hypotenuse so db will be given by considering triangle d this is a dba it will be so we have uh, ad AD is 8, so it will be 8 squared 
plus 15 square. You notice that it will be the same way we obtained AC to get DB. And this uh, will give, since you had calculated this, uh, DB will be 17. And therefore DO, DO will be half of DB, which will be 8.5. So this will be 8.5. So having done that, now to obtain OE, OE, to obtain OE, OE, we shall consider triangle EDO, EDO. So to get OE, we shall consider triangle DOE, DOE. I'm just sketching it here. So we have uh, 90 degrees at D. Then this one is O. And uh, E is here. Let me just sketch. So DE is 5. And uh, DO is 8.5. You've got that. Yeah, DO, 8.5. Now, OE, using Pythagoras theorem, OE will be given by the square root of 5 squared plus 8.5 squared. And you notice that this is the same thing that we did to get OF. And that one gave us the solution as 9.862. 9.862. We got that one correct now we have now we can extract triangle o or e o f e o f uh, e o f e o f i can extract it here so o this is e and this one is f so we have uh o e o e is 9.862 and OF, we got OF again as the same thing, 9.862. Now, the angle that you require is the whole of this angle that is at the center between OE and OF. Now, to do that, uh, if this one is, um, if we draw that line down, just draw it there. If I draw a line there, so you notice that this one is an isosceles triangle and this one is if this one is an isosceles triangle uh, if you draw a line uh, from perpendicular line from o to meet ef it will meet that at 90 degrees and um, since ef is 15 this will be 7.5 and this one is 7.5 this one is an isosceles triangle so we just need to get um, this angle and then you can multiply it by by 2. You can let this 2 to be theta. It's okay. So I can use this uh, triangle here using the trigonometric ratios. So to get this theta, I'll use sine. Sine of theta is equals to opposite is 7.5 divided by the hypotenuse which is 9.862. So this will give sine of theta to be 7.5 divided by is a calculator 9.862 you get 0 0.0.7605 uh, to get angle we get the sine inverse of 0 0.7605 and when you get the sine inverse you get this one is 49.51 so that is just one of these angles there are two the two angles so you multiply by two you need to multiply by two to get now the answer when you multiply by two and uh, 49.51 multiply by two you get 99.02 degrees and that now represents the angle between line oe and of